press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello dear students, now again let me continue one more session based on center of mass. So anyhow in the last class, so some standard questions are done means some concepts based on integration methods we covered. So practice those concepts number of times, okay otherwise I am going to give one shortcut, please try to remember the shortcut now, I am going to give the shortcut now. So anyhow in integration method I covered a rod, a uniform rod with a non-linear density and a semicircular wire and a half disc, hollow hemisphere, solid hemisphere cover. Of course, I think I covered solid cone. Okay. So the derivations are not easy, just you practice it, practice no number of times. Anyhow, let me continue one more derivation. After that, I will give you one shortcut to remember the formulas. Okay, so follow the one more derivation, write down triangular plane, triangular plane, let us find the center of mass of triangular plane, this is almost equal to hollow cone, now let me find center of mass of triangular plane whose height is given, let me draw the diagram here. See, this is the triangular plate whose height is mentioned capital H. Yeah, height is given capital H and base side is given this is given A. If this is A, this is also A. Okay. Now our target is to find out where the center of mass, okay. it is not an equilateral triangle, if it is an equilateral triangle it is at the centroid, now it is not an equilateral triangle, it is a triangular plate whose height is h and base side is given 2a, okay. now let us find the center of mass of this object. Okay. So follow the same method like a solid cone, for a solid cone at a distance of something y we have taken a small element and uh, those mass is dm, thickness is uh, uh, dr or dy and that is looks like a some circular disc. So and again we applied a integration and see for this also we can write like this, see this is a area level object. Okay area level. So, sigma is equals to here mass per area. What is sigma? Mass by area. What is the area now? Area of the triangle half into base into height. So, let me write sigma. So, sigma is equal to left side. Okay. Here I am right. Sigma is mass per area and for small part okay this can be written as mass by area is half into base into height what is the base 2a what is the height h so this 2 2 gets cancelled sigma is clear m by a h this is sigma value okay m by a h okay and see to find this, take a small part again, for small part, see I am following the same method, for small part, sigma we can write it as dm by dA, so what is dm, same method I am following, so dA, so dm is equals to sigma dA means we have take a small part, okay, small part again like a solid cone at a distance of y, let us take a small part, this is not a disc, in a solid cone that is looks like a circular disc, now it is a one small plate, okay, one straight line, okay, rod it is, if it is cut, this is looks like a, a thin rod whose length, if it is taking something uh, 
uh, x. This is also x. Now total length is x and thickness is clear. D is dy. Mass is dm. Okay. Earlier in solid cone, if you cut that small piece, that small piece looks like a circular disc. Here, if you cut a small piece, that small piece looks like a, a thin rod. Okay. Whose thickness? dy. Whose mass? dm. And whose length is given? So here I take an x. If it is x, this is x. Total length is 2x. Now substitute here. What is dA? dA is the area of the small part. Area means length into breadth. What is the length? 2x. Length is 2x. Breadth is dy. Okay. So area is 2x into dy. Substitute sigma value. So dm is equal to what is sigma? Sigma m by h. m by a h. And 2x dy. See some different different terms we are getting. x, y, a, some different terms are getting. It is impossible to do the integration if you apply. Okay. So let us change this y into some other terms. See, again let me apply same, uh, some triangle rules, side by side, base by base. See from this diagram, if this is y, what is this height? This height is h minus y. h minus y. So x by a, so from diagram, let me change this value from figure x by a x by a base by base is equal to height by height h minus y h minus y by h so x is equal to a h minus y by h so i converted this x value into y term okay this can be written as x is equal to, uh, if I derive this h, okay, otherwise you keep as it is, a by h, h minus y, okay, let us take this equation something 1, this is 2, substitute, I am using steps, number, number of steps here for understanding point of view, substitute 2 in equation 1, what is 1 now, dm is equal to, m by a h 2 into x what is x 2a by h h minus y so i got dm value finally then after getting dm go for the integrations so how to do the integration again again this is a trouble for first year students again the problem starts so integration of dm into y integration of dm Decide the limits. Decide the limits now. Number of models I covered. You try to practice this. So, starting limit of y is 0, ending limit is h. y is variable. Starting limit is 0, ending is h. So, 0, h, 0, h. Substitute dm value. This is the dm. Substitute here. Any terms are cancelled? a gets cancelled. m by h square 2 you write in front uh, h minus y do the simplification carefully hmm? so here ycm integration of 0 to h dm what is dm 2m by h square 2m by h square h minus y and this y is there and one more is there h minus y see m by a h 2 a by x i substituted and here i missed you see the mistakes dy is there from 1 check the calculations dm is equals to m by a h 2 x nothing but a by h into h minus y dy as it is written okay here dy into y this y Integration of dm. So integration of dm 0 h 
So integration of dm you can write directly h because all are non, all are constant. Yeah, you can strike off it and apply the integrations. You will get the answers. Okay. See, yum gets cancelled. Why see yum? Two by h squared you write outside. Integration of zero to h. H into y and multiply this dy also and again I am multiplying integration also 0 to h y into y y square dy c practice the integration then this is nothing ok so y c m is 2 by h square this is h you write outside y integration is y square by 2 y integration is y square by 2 after applying the limits it becomes h square by 2 minus y square integration is y cube by 3 after applying the limits it becomes h cube by 3 check it once please check the integrations I did number of problems so you try to check the integration here take h cube outside 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 h cube h square and this y c m is 2 h 3 minus 2 so this is a 1 by 6 now finally I got h by 3 yeah ok what is the answer now finally I am getting h by 3 see the calculations ok don't worry, don't worry about the integration calculations, okay. Anyhow, you are going to write the entrance after second PUC. Up to that model of now, you can perfect the integration, so that's not a problem. Try to practice number of times, okay. So, what is the center of mass of a triangular plate? H by 3, keep in mind. Center of mass of a triangular plate is H by 3, that you keep in mind. And if possible, you try to practice. See, for every object I follow the same method. I have taken a small element and I applied the integration with proper limits. Means that element where it is started, starting point, starting limit and where it is going to end, ending limit. So limits are important. So take a small element, apply integration with proper limits, definitely we will get the answer. Practice these integration process number of times, definitely you will get some confidence to solve problems from any J level books ok. So take this now, finally answer is clear h by 3, center of mass of a triangular plate is h by 3. Again, same integration methods will come in the next two topics also. Hmm? In uh, some topics like moment of inertia and some terrific topics are there in this system of particles and rotational motion. And this chapter is endless chapter. We can teach so many models. Okay, let me continue only in two sessions. I am going to finish this center of mass. Next, I will continue some other topics from this chapter. Yeah, completed. let me rub this one practice this integration no need to worry ok Okay, let me rub. I think it's over. Okay. Now, see, let me give one shortcut idea to remember all these formulas. Okay. So, that is for our convenience only. 
सी सो फार वी नो सॉलिड कोन ट्रैंगुलर प्लेट सॉलिड हेमिसफियर हालो हेमिसफियर एंड सेमी सर्कुलर वायर हाफ डिस्क लेट अस रिमेम्बर ऑल द फार्मूलास वंस लेट मी राइट ऑल द फार्मूलास इन वन ऑर्डर सी आई एम यूजिंग वन कोड हियर ओके सो डोंट आस्क व्हाट इज दिस कोड एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स सो द वे यू रिमेम्बर इट दिस शॉर्टकट मे बी हेल्पफुल फॉर एंट्रेंस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ओके नो नीड टू डू ऑल दोज इंटीग्रेशन एंड ऑल द थिंग्स एट लीस्ट रिमेम्बर दिस शॉर्टकट सो आई थिंक दिस दिस शॉर्टकट इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू अलॉट इन एंट्रेंसेस ओके सो लेट मी राइट वन नेम हियर सी आई एम राइटिंग टी H R S D. What is this? All these things. C T H R S D. C T H R S D. Okay, you wait for a minute. Now. See. Here, let me give the name. C for. Let me give the name. This is solid. कोन कीप इन माई सी फर सॉलिड कोन ओके दिस इज अ ट्रैंगुलर प्ले ट्रैंगुलर प्ले टी फर ट्रैंगुलर प्ले हालो हालो हेमी स्पियर हालो हेमी स्पियर दिस इज हाफ रिंग हाफ रिंग नथिंग बट सेमी सर्कुलर वायर हाफ रिंग हाफ रिंग सेमी सर्कुलर वायर Okay, half ring. Otherwise, semi circular wire. This is solid sphere, solid hemi sphere or solid sphere. This is half disc, half disc. See, so far I covered these derivations only up to now. I written all in one order. Anyhow, cone generally will have height. cone have height keep in mind cone have height triangular plate they will give the height of the triangular plate hollow hemisphere they will give radius half ring have radius solid sphere have radius disc have radius so keep in mind cone have height they will give the cone height okay solid cone and a triangular plate this is also possible for hollow cone also triangular plate or hollow cone height is there hollow hemisphere r half ring r solid sphere r disc r okay now the code language is c t h r s d i am see the numbers how i am going to write okay don't ask why you write like this sir just the way you remember it see the way let me start two we know the numbers two three Four, two, three, four. What are the numbers now? Two, three, four. Let us follow the rivers. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Got it? Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And don't ask why I am writing like this. This is pi eight three pi. Keep in mind pi eight three pi. Now check it. All formulas are coming. Solid cone formula. Just now got it. Means in the last class we done it. H by four. Triangular plate. H by three. Hollow hemisphere. Check it. R by two. Half ring. Two R by pi. Solid sphere. Three R by eight. Half disc. Verify once. Four R by three pi. Hey. What is the value? Four R by three pi. I think this is easy to remember. So what is the core language for this one? C T H R S D. What is C T H R S D? C T H R S D. See, instead of deriving all the derivations, if you remember this code, it is easy. It is a matter of one minute completed. C T H R S D. So remember, like a created, talented, hard worker, sir, there in Siddha Ganga, Davanagiri. Yeah, what is the code? Created, talented. Hard workers are there in Siddha Ganga, Davanagiri. Yeah, I hope that you remember the shortcut language. It's created, talented hard workers are there in Siddha Ganga. Therefore, you can keep Davanagiri. Okay, whatever may be the way you remember it, who will ask in entrances? We need final answer. Okay, I derived everything. 
okay i read very slowly so this is the code so keep in mind this will helps a lot comparing to the last all derivations okay but you practice derivations that will helps that will give some confidence to solve some standard level of questions that's why i derived every derivation okay so keep this code and write it let me continue some more models in center of mass and i will enter into the other topic okay take this i hope you remember this one triangular plate it is also called as hollow cone hollow cone also the same answer hollow cone keep in mind empty hollow cone hollow cone cone without cream if you press it it is looks like what take a cone empty cone press it then it looks like a plate or not what is the plate triangular plate so this is also suitable for what hollow cone keep in mind hollow cone so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 formulas keep in mind it will help a lot okay take this yeah okay got it okay derivations are our interest that's why i solved everything okay everything you try to learn in depth with the derivation if it is there it is easy okay now let me rub this part see total how many methods i told for uh, center of mass i think you remembered three or four tell me four actually four but three generally used okay one is method of symmetry done it method of decomposition completed method of integration done it okay terrific for you especially one more i told papus theorem remember that name okay right now we are not using if you want i will give you one small idea that's it papus theorem just let me give the idea papus theorem or papus theorem whatever may be papus theorem there are two statements for this papus theorem okay so this is also used to calculate center of mass of different objects okay so let me show one or two okay all are not needed because we done with integration process so generally we will use integration process okay see first law or first principle okay first law see according to papus first theorem or first law if any uh, semi circular disk just you take a semi circular disk let us keep just suppose this is not semi circular disk feel that this is a semi circular disk feel that just this part is cut this is semi circular disk you feel that if i rotate like this if a semi okay not this one semi circular disk okay right now not available here so semi circular disk is rotated then tell me it is going to sweeps out the complete area nothing but see it covers complete area and it will generate some volume see on board this is the semi circular disk yeah you can rotate this one like this in this direction then it covers some volume so a volume is generated once you rotate a semi circular disk if any semi circular disk is rotated about this line okay about this line then what is generated it covers volume it is it sweeps up complete matter so it generates some volume so the volume generated by revolution of semi circular plate or disk volume generated so volume is generated once it is just you take a disk and rotate it it looks like some solid sphere solid sphere so solid sphere have volume so that volume is generated by revolution of a closed plane lamina otherwise by revolution of a circular plate semi circular plate and this volume generated is equal to area of that plate and initially it will have some center of mass and distance moved by the 
center of mass distance moved by center of mass so this is the first principle volume is generated when a semi circular disc is rotated Re okay by the revolution of the semi circular disc some volume is generated now what is the volume of the semi uh, volume that is looks like a solid sphere because it is going to cover solid sphere so shall i write like this 4 by 3 pi r cube area area is how much shall i write pi r square by 2 area of the semi circular disc for full pi r square for half pi r square by 2 distance moved by the center of mass nothing but 2 pi r 2 pi r nothing but 2 pi xcm nothing but let me write 2 pi ycm 2 pi ycm so just you check it this 2 this 2 1 pi 1 pi gets cancel r square r square now check the values left side is 4 r uh, 1 pi is the right side 4 r by 3 pi which is equal to ycm yeah what is this answer now tell me 4 r by 3 pi is the formula for what 4 r by 3 pi is the center of mass for semi circular disc see matter of one step we got the answer okay methods are so many generally everyone will follow method of integration okay most of them does not follow this method so this is also possible but okay so if any plate is rotated then volume is generated that volume which is equal to what volume is equal to area into some distance what is that distance distance moved by center of mass this is the formula in the same manner see the second law just i am giving the idea just listen and leave it no need to write this one this is what what is this wire semi circular wire take a semi circular wire take a wire bent in the form of semi circle rotate it then what is going to generate will it generate volume no because inside is empty there is no volume so what is generate area will be generated if a curved line this is a curved line semi circular wire if a semi circular wire is rotated the revolution of a semi circular wire about this axis okay it is rotating like this then what is creates it will create some area area will be generates area generated when semi circular wire is rotated and that area which is equals to length of the wire and distance moved by center of mass distance moved by distance moved by center of mass now this area nothing but what area nothing but area of that hollow sphere see there will be a hollow sphere once it covers like this some blue will generate blue inside empty hollow sphere but there is half sphere so 2 by r square is not 4 by r square half 2 by r square length length of the semi circular wire is pi r distance moved by center of mass is 2 pi pi cm 2 pi r 2 pi y cm so pi pi 2 2 r square r square this is r so here how much now length of the circle sorry this is what 4 pi r square 4 pi r square because it's going to cover hollow sphere 4 pi r square so 2 this is 2 is 4 pi r square left side is 4 pi r square 2 r right side is 1 pi is there 2 r by pi which is equal to ycm that means what what is this formula center of mass of semi circular wire okay see the shortcut formulas by using pappus theorem possible for triangular plate and others also okay but generally we use integration method hmm? that is useful to solve some other problems okay so here volume is generated by the revolution of a closed lamina here area will be generated when a curved line is rotated so this is the pappus statements i given some idea okay okay yeah follow the previous shortcuts to remember all center of mass formulas of different objects now let me continue one more concept
so block on block yeah, actually the concept is uh, block on block so exact topic is there in a, a friction concept block on block okay there will be a block on block concepts two blocks three blocks if i apply a force at the top a topper one above one below one third one all will move with common acceleration if the surface is smooth some concepts are there but here the concept is different it's not exactly block on block just you see what are block actually just you see just i'm writing the name block on block but here i am going to use blocks that's why written block on block okay exact block on block concept is there in laws of motion in friction concept okay see uh, there is a one block this is one block where is the center of mass of this block tell me whose length is l if length of the block is l where is the center of mass you feel that that is a block rod actually uniform rod having uniform density uniform rod having uniform density then where is the center of mass no doubt center of mass is at midpoint midpoint now i want to place this rod or a block we can call it as a rod or a block so no need to worry see the way okay if i want to place this one on another block then where should i place so that this block does not fall from that block see keep just these are some two blocks this is one block center of mass is at the midpoint i want to place this block feel that this is also yeah this is also a block block rod whatever it is rectangular bar i want to place on this if i place like this it does not topple this just it does not topple if i place somewhat little it is ready to topple so if i place here still still it does not topple means at what distance i have to place this block on this so that this does not topple from the below block follow my words see right now two blocks if if three is given four is given five is given n is given let us see how we are going to place to place this one center of mass is at the midpoint if you want to place another block here you have to place it some place so that this that this block does not fall let us see where you have to place this block so that this block does not fall from this let us see where you have to place see the simple logic for this <laughs> see this is the first block if you place this block on another block then definitely that other block means the center of mass of this block definitely at the edge of another block whose length is same otherwise it's not possible see if i place center of mass let us suppose this is c1 center of mass if we place near the edge of another block then this block does not fall if it is placed little above little right side it will topple like this it will topple tumbles okay if you place back side okay it does not fall see now the last chance is you have to place the center of mass of this block must be at the edge of the lower block edge of the lower block then what is this distance l by 2 okay for two blocks l now i want to place three blocks one over the other Two blocks, one over the other means okay. We can un understand easily. Now, what is our target? Three blocks. I want to place three blocks, one over the other. Let us see where should I place the third block. Means you have to find the center of mass of this system. Center of mass of this system. See the center of mass of the below one is here. Above one is here. Tell me where where is the center of mass of this two block system? Center of mass of two block system. This is for two blocks. For two blocks now you find the center of mass see in between them there will be a center of mass or not yeah definitely there will be a center of mass let us take from this i want to find where is the center of mass so no doubt somewhere is center of mass let us see exactly what distance 
no doubt we can expect if this is l by 2 this is l by 2 this is no doubt l by 4 if you want i will show you this how l by 4 will come see if this is something x okay take this as a origin apply the our, our regular formula m1 x1 plus m2 x2 by m1 plus m2 see this is the origin m1 x1 x1 is 0 because i take an origin here m1 x1 plus m2 x2 m2 x2 is for second one okay if it is 1 this is 2 now x is equals to m1 x1 masses are same masses are same m into this is because i started from this as the origin i have taken 0 no need of this one directly i will write m into 0 because i have taken origin from the first block and this one is m into l by 2 by how many blocks 2m so m m you can calculate l by 2 by 2 how much it is now l by 4 directly we can expect what is the next l by 4 we can expect directly so this x is l by 4 so center of mass is l by 4 means this center of mass must be placed at the edge of another block so that these two blocks does not fall now let us imagine a diagram three blocks diagram let me draw here see this is for first block okay you can draw from top or bottom this is first block and uh, and see this is the center of mass how much this value l by 2 how much this value very clear l by 4 and here you have to place you have to place another block at this point yeah now this is for three blocks first block is at l by 2 second block is at where l by 4 if they given four blocks imagine now if they given four blocks now there will be a center of mass of these three will be somewhere here where it is exactly tell me l by 2 l by 4 check it is it l by 6 or l by 8 l by 6 okay l by 6 next l by 8 l by 10 like that will come for n blocks for n blocks so that the blocks does not fall so that the blocks does not tumble or topple topples is so the distance the maximum extension so the distance is we can write l by 2 n now check it for one block n value 1 l by 2 one block maximum extension how much this x is the maximum extension maximum extension maximum extension for one block n value 1 l by 2 for two blocks l by 2 into 2 4 2 blocks l by 2 into 2 l by 4 for 3 blocks this is for 3 blocks 3 blocks how much this value L by 6. So, for 1 block, for n is equal to 1 block, x is equal to how much? L by 2. n is equals to 2, x is equals to L by 4. n is equals to 3, x is equals to L by 6. So, R, see this is the way. Keep in mind. Okay? If they given 4 blocks, L by 2 into 4, L by 8. Next extension is L by 8. Okay? This is useful in solving some problems. Next time, I will give one good question from H.C. Verma book. Okay. And see, these are the unequal distances. L by 2, L by 4, L by 6, L by 8, L by 10. Okay. Now, they given like this. They given n number of blocks. Okay. First, you take this. I will wait. Let me continue. See, uh, here right now, the extension of each block is different. They give it like this. 
some number of blocks are given if each one extends the same length each one extends the same length then what is that length let us see for two block system see if each block each block extend by same length then we can use one shortcut formula directly now x is equals to the maximum extension is l by n l by n let us see if they given two blocks what is x l by 2 l by 2 so if they given two blocks l by 2 for three blocks see for two blocks where you have to place l by 2 for three blocks you have to place like this for three blocks for three blocks this is one block one more block see this is l by 3 l by 3 are you following at least from the diagram you try to understand now l by 3 l by 3 you have to extend that okay if they given three blocks if you keep l by 3 extension l by 3 extension then those blocks does not topple from the bottom block if they given four blocks you keep l by 4 l by 4 l by 4 definitely those blocks does not topple okay those block does not topple if this block system is placed on a some table edge of a table if the block system is placed on a edge edge of a table edge of a table then use x is equals to l by n plus 1 extra if the same system is placed on edge of a table see it's okay so how much this value uh, l by n plus 1 n means number of blocks 3 plus 1 so l by 4 l by 4 you keep like this l by 4 okay l by 4 l by 4 and uh, see this is also l by 4 okay take this i'll give you one simple questions next i'll give you one good question See now, let me give one simple problem. So, write this one. Four identical blocks, write the question. Four identical blocks, four identical blocks are placed, are placed one over the other as shown. One over the other has shown the given the diagram. Then find x. Find x. Now I am going to draw the diagram. See the given like this. This is one block. L by 2 So I draw here L by 2 L by 4 
L by 6, they given this one. Okay. So, that is not topple. If they does not topple, means this is L by 2, we have to keep it L by 2, this is L by 4, L by 6. Then they are asking X. What is X? L by 6 plus L by 4 plus L by 2. Okay. They will give everything data in papers. Okay. If they ask you to find from here, what you have to do? Extra you have to add L. But right now they are asking only X. What is this X? L by 6 plus L by 4 plus L by 2. So, this is 12 and 11 L. Check it. Okay, they will give identical blocks are placed one over the other such that uh, the blocks does not fall. Does not fall means how you have to arrange four identical blocks. They place one over the other such that the blocks does not fall. Means first block is at a distance of L by 2. They are not given this L by 2. First block is arranged at a distance of L by 2. Second block is at a distance of L by 4. Third one is at a distance of L by 6. Then what is the text? They are given this value. They are not given these three. Okay, these three we know. So, x is equal to 11 L by 12. If they ask you to find from this 11 L by 12 plus extra L. If they ask to find from here 11 L by 12 plus L by 2. One more terrific question let me give. Let me rub this. You try this problem now. Okay. Let me write the question. Seven homogeneous bricks. They given seven homogeneous bricks. Seven homogeneous bricks. Each of length L. Each of length L mass m okay mass m and each brick is displaced each brick is displaced each brick is displaced with respect to with respect to two other one other one by other one in contact by in contact by L by 10 then find x coordinate of center of mass x coordinate of center of mass they given 7 homogeneous bricks each extends by something L by 10 they given the diagram I am going to draw the diagram then our target is to find out coordinate of center of mass, x coordinate of center of mass. Let me draw the diagram. See, one brick is placed like this. This is one brick. Okay, brick number one. One more brick is extended by L by 10. L by 10. So, draw correctly. This is L by 10, second brick. One more brick also extended by L by 10. One more also, 1, 2, 3, 4 also extends. This is 5, six,
yeah seven see the diagram each one extend by how much l by 10 l by 10 l by 10 and next one shift by back l by 10 yeah draw the correct diagram take some time and draw it otherwise take some screenshot one two three so each extend by l by 10 l by 10 l by 10 next each shift by l by 10 l by 10 l by 10 target is to find out x coordinate of center of mass from this point oh simple there is no trouble only calculation there are seven bricks identical bricks each mass is m length also n mass m length n mass m length l now let me write directly x c m yeah how many masses total 7 m 7 masses 7 blocks m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 m4 x4 m5 x5 m6 m6 x6 m7 x7 by m1 plus m2 plus m3 so on 7 m so 7 m downside m1 x1 what is m1 m1 is m x1 x1 center of mass of this one is first part l by 2 okay l by 2 m into l by 2 m1 x1 coming to the second second part m2 x2 m2 x2 what is x2 identify it x2 from o from this o first one is l by 2 for second one how much l by 2 plus extra what how much is there l by 10 how much it is extended l by 10 center of mass of first block is l by 2 second block will be extended by l by 10 so second block is what l by 2 plus extra how much is there l by 10 so second block is l by 2 plus l by 10 got it can anyone give the third one third one very easy m into l by 2 this is extended by 10 third one also extended coming to the third third one is extended how much now l by 10 plus l by 10 got it so carefully first one l by 2 second one extended by l by 10 l by 2 plus l by 10 third one third one l by 2 l by 10 l by 10 two l by 10 third completed still how many you have tried still four more coming to the fourth m fourth one fourth one tell me l by 2 l by 10 l by 10 l by 10 how many l by 10 for fourth one l by 2 l by 10 l by 10 l by 10 so shall i write directly 3 l by 10 is it visible 3 l by 10 i am writing very small 3 l by 10 ok fourth one completed coming to the 5 5 is reduced 1 see this is 3 l by 10 now for 5 1 is left side so how much it is m into m into l by 2 up to here is how much 3 l by 10 decrease 1 how much it is now 2 l by 10 this is similar to third block third block means how much 2 l by 10 check it because shift by left for fifth block 2 l by 10 for sixth block m into l by 2 for this one is equal to 1 1 l by 10, l by 10 for last one last one similar to first one so m into l by 2 check the calculations see for first block l by 10 second block l by see first block l by 2 second will extend by l by 2 plus l by 10 third l by 2 common l by 10 l by 10 fourth l by 2 l by 10 l by 10 l by 10 fifth fifth equal to third sixth equal to second seventh is equal to first then add all the things how many all m's cancelled out masses gets cancelled out no need to worry about the masses xcm 1l by 2 2l by 2 3l by 2 4l by 2 5l by 2 6l by 2 7l by 2 check it once 7l by 2 l by 10 you count it 1 2 3 6 7 8 
9 l by 10 by how much 7 so l you take outside and uh, this can be written as uh, 70 88 by 20 by 7 L 4 5s are 4 22s are 22 7 5 35 check the calculations 22 L by 35 verify this calculation once 22 L by 35 Okay, see slowly the levels are changing 22 L by 35. Take this. First one L by 2, last one L by 2. Remaining are just this is L by 2, L by 10, L by 2, L by 10, L by 10. Check it. Practice twice, you will understand everything. <coughs> so, almost covered. Uh, let us solve one more. Still, so many. Yeah, completed.